Hello, in this week's video we're looking at Socrative. It's a quiz-based platform and realised it was a notable omission from my YouTube channel, hence the video today. So on the right hand side, sorry, the left hand side, we've got the teacher view. I'm going to go through and show you how to create a quiz. And then on the left hand side, later on, we'll go through and show you how the students access that quiz and how they can respond. So initially, across the top, we've got launch, which allows you to configure the quiz that you're going to run with your students. We'll come to that in a bit. We've got the quiz tab that allows you to create and add quizzes. We've got rooms which allow you to run quizzes in multiple spaces simultaneously. We've then got reports that show you who got what and results. You can see live progress of the quiz. So we're going to start by creating a quiz and you do that by clicking the add quiz button. I've already made a start. So I'm going to click on the quiz I've already created. And you can see we can add images and we can add different types of questions. So I can move these questions up and down so I can change the order of them. I can delete questions and I can copy questions. So if we scroll down to the bottom, I'm going to add one more question. You can see we can add multiple choice, true or false or short answer. I tend to either go with true or false or multiple choice. So we're going to click on the add image icon and we'll add this image. And then I'm going to put my question. So it's a similar format question. So it's Let's correct the spelling mistakes and then put in the answers. Select which one is the correct by ticking on the box. We can then put in the answer. and we can remove any surplus. So it gives you five initially, but you can add more. I tend to stick with three, so we'll just delete those surplus answer boxes. And then we're happy, we can hit save. You can move questions, as I've said already, by moving them up and down. When you do edit it, if you click on the formatting tab, you can have additional formatting function for the text that you're adding. I'm quite happy just to add simple text, so we'll do that and hit save. So that's all finished now, so we can save and exit that. So when it comes to launch the quiz, if we go to the launch tab, we can choose the different types. So we can do a space race, and you'll see two rockets race across. It's great if you've got two teams. You can do it as an exit ticket. I tend to do it as a quiz. The space race, as I say, works well if you've got two teams because you can see the rockets moving across the screen as the teams answer the questions. But let's go with a quiz format. We can choose the quiz. So I'm going to choose the logo quiz. We can then hit next. And we can choose, do we want the student to get instant feedback? Um, do we want them to be able to go through the questions in any order and for us to monitor the progress? or do you want it to be teacher paced where we can review the answer after each question. So let's go with instant feedback and then hit start. So if we jump to the student view now, we enter the room number, which is typically your surname followed by the number you've been assigned. So in this case, it's my surname and then 8572 and hit join. It'll ask the student to enter their name. And then off we go, we can start answering the questions. As we submit the answer, because we asked for instant review, it's giving us the feedback. And 
So this would only be viewable by me on my teacher's machine. I wouldn't have it on the screen because I'd want each of the students not to be able to see how the others are doing. And let's get an answer wrong. Okay, so I'm happy. The quiz is finished. I can hit finish and I can get a report. Uh, emailed to me or downloaded via Excel or I can view the chart so this is quite useful to see so the name has been hidden I can show the answers but hide the name so if I did want to show progress and show the group how everyone had done I could do this but anonymize the names so that no one can see who's done what but just a way of showing how the group answered so that's quite a nice feature there to be able to hide the names but show the answers and for you to have a summary of how the class did as I've said reports you could download a report so there you have it a great way to either use a, a quiz for a connect activity or a recall and review activity at the end of the lesson it could also be used as an exit ticket um, uh, I mentioned uh, to a colleague that a quiz would be a good way to start or end a lesson so uh, K you know who you are um, this could be a great tool to use with your evening class so hope you found the video useful please remember to like it subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos thanks for watching